Hey guys, today I will show you a real life example of a bad landing at my home airport. I've been watching others' mistakes on YouTube, and I guess today is your turn to watch mine. This is a return trip from the previous episode, the landing decision at Elko River Airport. In that episode, I share my aeronautical decision making on whether or not to land at a mountain airport. If you haven't watched that, the link is on the upper right corner. Three ground Skyhawk six five seven four one ready to taxi southeast departure. Just uh, six five seven four one hit your ground wind two four zero at niner altimeter three zero zero one runway two four taxi via Bravo and Alpha. Runway two four taxi via Bravo and Alpha seven four. Tower Skyhawk six five seven four one holding shoulder runway two four ready for takeoff southeast departure. Skyhawk six five seven four one hit ground hold short for landing traffic. Holding short for landing traffic seven four one. That's a seven four one a left turn out to the southeast approved runway two four clear for takeoff. Only two four clear for takeoff. Uh, is it left uh, left turn approved? Seven four one. Seven four one affirmative. Left turn to the southeast approved. Left turn to the southeast. Seven four one. Thank you. Before departure, I checked the weather. It said it would turn windy and rainy in the late afternoon after my flight. Since it's less than 40 miles away from my home airport, I tuned to the Concorde ATIS soon after departure. Concorde information, Tango, time 1750 Zulu, wind 250 at 8, gust 15. Visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 342.16, altimeter 3001. Expect visual approach on way 20, advise on initial contact with Tango. It is said the wing is 250 at 8, gust 15, and the landing runway is runway 20. That means the crosswind will be at 250 minus 200 equals 50 degree to the right. The crosswind factor will be sine 50 degree equals 0.8. Therefore, the crosswind will be about 6 gust to 12. The temperature and the dew point are 18 degree apart. Therefore, I don't need to worry about the visible moisture. Overall, I felt this is still manageable. Skyhawk 9 Lima Whiskey, runway 20, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go for 739 Lima Whiskey, runway 20. I recognize the tail number, November 739er Lima Whiskey, is from my flight club. It seems someone is doing touch and go landing practice. 739 Lima Whiskey going around. Skyhawk 9 Lima Whiskey, make left traffic. Left traffic, three, nine, landing with I guess the pilot might have some challenges landing in this crosswind condition. Skyhawk 9, Lima Whiskey, runway 20, wind 280 at 13, gust 18, clear, touch and go. Now the crosswind angle became 80 degree, almost direct crosswind. Wind speed also picked up to 13, gust 18. The crosswind component became 13, gust 18, almost double the previous numbers. It became a real challenge. Concord Tower Skyhawk 65741, about 10 miles to the north uh, west, uh, inbound for landing with Tango. Skyhawk 65741, Concord Tower, report a 3 mile right base, runway 20. Report 3 miles right base, runway 20741. Concord Tower Skyhawk uh, 65741, 3 miles base. Skyhawk 65741, runway 20, wind 270 at Niner, gust 17, clear to land. Runway 20, clear to land, 741. The good thing is that the wing speed dropped a little bit, 
but the bad thing is that the gust wing component pickup it became less predictable. Now I'm ready to land. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, I'm totally blown sideways by almost 20 feet in just a few seconds. Let's watch the slow motion again. On the final approach, I had no problem aligning with the center line. However, when I transitioned to flare, I didn't put enough control on the ailerons. That resulted in the plane drifting to the left by the crosswind. And also that put quite some side load on the main wheel when I landed. Although it didn't cause any damage, it's definitely something I want to avoid in the future. As a pilot, I shouldn't fear about sharing what I didn't do well, and instead I should learn from mistakes. This is the only way to make myself a safer pilot for both myself and my families. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.